Okay, now that I butchered Star Wars for people by saying Cobanite instead of Carbonite, and I apologize, I was talking about the powers, right? So, yeah, they, there's no big payoff for the concrete ability other than you finally have it, which is really disappointing. Because in the final boss battle with Augustine, the only... I said there was no mutants, I lied. Augustine kind of turns into a mutant, sort of. It's hard to explain. But sh shit, was it awesome. She pretty much makes a concrete monstrosity that can constantly change shape. I know she's had about seven years of experience, but... Why can't I learn that power? Why can't that be my big, you know, your superpower, or karmic superpower? That would be awesome! That would be freaking awesome! Now with Paper Trail, if they do what I think they're going to do and introduce Paper Conduit to it as one of your abilities, <coughs> I want to know how that's going to work. They introduce other, more abstract ideas for conduits that I want to see in further games, like the wire conduit. Like, literally controlling wires. Glass. Mirror, which... When I saw videos, one of the powers, I was like, okay, how is this going to work? And I was expecting something different, but... I was still pleasantly surprised. I was thinking that you could fast forward and rewind time, and that would have worked too. But... Maybe not this early in the series on this gen, you know? But Mirror, that would be interesting. Have duplicates coming out or something like that. This is stuff, things I would want to see in the further Infamous game. Paper, um, in Paper Trail, they introduced Cecilia who makes origamis, and she has like a paper rabbit mask. And I'm thinking, okay, what if she could fold herself up too? This is things that she, they can add in Infamous 4 or Third Son or whatever the next one's going to be called. That would really, really shake things up, but still not be a completely major change that breaks the entire series. Last thing you want is your Infamous game to become a horror game. Make it a superhero game with the powers are a bit more advanced, but it still keeps the core themes and the core gameplay into it. Again, I'm going back on that. I'm trying to stray away from that. Now, I was talking about the writing earlier too, how Fetch and Eugene aren't elaborated on too much. I won't give them credit. There is not a single character in the game I hate. Now, this is going to sound weird with the next thing I'm going to say, but what I mean is hate within the context of the game. Because they work. But I hate Augustine as a person. I wanted to kill her. She is the only character in this game I wanted to kill. She works as a villain, but she is a... She's a sadistic bitch. Oh... When you first see her, she starts torturing you by throwing concrete in your legs. And the first time she does that, she goes, I'm told that hurts. Well, after your first choice, she starts picking on your mother figure by doing the same thing. And of course, after she shoots concrete in her legs the first time, she goes, I'm told that hurts. And you wake up in your tribe's clubhouse that's turned into a triage center and you see silhouettes of people with shards of concrete stuck in their legs. Or their chests and arms and... Every time you see her, she tries to recruit you. And then it's like, okay, you're not going to join me? Fine, I'll give you a reason to join. Sends like a giant con or concrete conduit guy after you. It's just... By the end of the game, if you don't want to kill her, you need a shrink. Because she's just the most... She's probably the most evil character in the Infamous series. Kessler? 
knowing who he is wasn't necessarily evil as he was tr trying to do what he thought was the right thing. The beast was corrupted, not just pure evil. Augustine is manipulative. She's very human and very sinister. And that's why she works. And the woman they got to play her, like, I thought I recognized her from somewhere, and it's because she reminds me of just about every gym teacher I've had in high school. But evil. And I know that is, especially for the nerd culture, oh, well, aren't gym teachers evil? Most of mine weren't evil, they are just... They're just, you know, treated badly as children. Um, no, they're... There's that dark sense, like, she's this very authoritative figure, very militaristic, but she's very, very human and twisted. We need more villains like her in the video game industry. We need more villains like her, Comstock, from Bioshock Infinite, and less like Wesker, who's just there, gee, virus, gee, virus. <laughs> Seriously. Chris, punch a boulder at me. We need more genuinely evil villains and less mustache twirling snidely whiplash villains. Because the evil villains like Augustine and Comstock, no, Comstock's debatable. They add that human side that makes it truly disturbing. And that's why it works. That's through the minor fault Second Son has, it really makes up for it in the characterization. They could have elaborated on the story more, admittedly. I mean, the main motivation for going after Augustine is because they can't remove the concrete from people without her power. Okay, what well, about the liberation of Seattle? Add more to that. Why would Deslin or Delson care about Seattle? Add more to that motivation, add more to the overall plot than they did, and it would have been a lot, or it would have been better. I don't want to say a lot better, because it's a great game, it's a lot of fun. But, you know, if they've done those minor changes that I was ranting about, and I'm not talking necessarily about the gameplay changes, I'm talking about the writing, the characterization, Eugene, or adding more to Eugene Fetch adding more to the basic plot. It would have been a lot better. It really would have. It, it's a great game, but it could be a lot better. I would... Honestly, I would give this game a B. But it has the potential and the ability to be an A game. And I think that's what broke my heart about it, is, as much as I love the game, as fun as it is, it could be more. But, you know, I'm thinking about this, and very rarely do you have a game where, where it's like Bioshock Infinite, where it is the complete package, where it has everything you want to it, or expect. Um, and honestly, I think that makes the sting a bit worse. Because Sony games generally don't feel like that. The Uncharted series, even 3, didn't feel like, okay, they could have done more with it. I didn't like 3 because of the plot, but I didn't leave the game thinking, oh, come on, why didn't they add this or flesh this out more? Well, except for Marlowe. That's a different topic for a different day. Uncharted 2, phenomenal in that regard. The first two infamous games, it was the gameplay that needed to be fleshed out more than it was the story. Well, second game was like that. The story could have been fleshed out a bit more in the first, but it was still more fleshed out than Second Son, I think. Just a bit. But with this one, just... I didn't feel the motivation for Delson. I know you're supposed to put yourself in the character at times, good example of that's Gordon Freeman, or 
um, Isaac Clark from Dead Space 1 before they decided to give him a random voice. But it's really... really hard to tell what his motivation is, why he wants to do this. Because the whole time he's like, I gotta help my tribe. So why does he come back to Seattle? At the end of the game, after he helps his tribe, what was the... What's his motivation? I wanted that more. I wanted more characterization. I wanted... Honestly, and I know this is me being greedy, I wanted more powers. I want to see what the hell Wire does, or Mirror, or... But, you know, I'm willing to wait another two, three years for the next infamous game to come out to see them. I I'm kind of glad they didn't cop out and just go, oh, water, fire, wind, because I think without the abstract elements there, like neon, really paid off. There's a conduit with a wood build ability that they mention, but it's not controllable. They say glass is... They are going to go with glass for the conduits in the DUP, but it's too lethal for the person using it, so someone has to be a natural conduit with a, a glass ability to use it. I want to see that! I, I, a rope ability or, you know, metallurgy, stuff like that. There's so much they could have done. Oh, crap, wait, I forgot. There's another boss that was technically a monstrosity. It was uh, Eugene's boss. But there's a different context for it other than, like, an infamous one, the garbage boss. Hey, here's a, mo a garbage monster in the real world. Yeah, it's, there's nothing like, here's a monster in the real world, except for Augustine. So, I completely forgot about Eugene. Which was another problem boss, but that might be because platforming sucked on it for me, because of my memorization skills at the time. But anyway, yeah, I would give Second Son a B, with a high potential if the changes were made to be an A game. I know some people are saying, oh, it's not a system seller. <sighs> Either it's Titanfall, honestly, not to me at least. There's, I didn't want to bring up Titanfall. I really didn't, because I know people are like, oh, Titanfall is great, you haven't played it. Personally, for me, it doesn't look that great, but I don't like giant mechs. So I'm biased in that regard, so I'm not I'm not gonna go out of my way to bash it. I'm just gonna say it's not, it's not my type of game. But that being said, it's a two-hour campaign. If I had a 360, I would just buy it on 360 instead of buying it on Xbox One. Or if my computer could run it, I'd buy it on PC instead of buying an Xbox One. Now, Second Son. Since it's not on PC or PS3, people can only get it on a PS4. Hardcore fans of the series, like myself, are going to get a PS4 to get Second Son. That's all I'm going to say on that. Anyway, I will... For my next... How much time do I have? I don't want to fill up the complete video, so I'm just going to go through this real quick. For my next video, I'm or let's play, if I when I'm not doing Outlast, I'm probably going to do Fatal Frame 3. It's my favorite Fatal Frame in the series, and I might go back and do that one because I freaking love that game. But I'm also debating a few other things that aren't in the horror genre. So I'll keep you guys updated on that in a further update. I'm still working on um the art of gaming, mainly because, <laughs> but I have to re-record all the footage I have because when my computer needed to be fixed, I lost everything. So that's going to be a bit longer than I wanted it to be. I might do another art of gaming in the interim on, just had an idea for that, but I might, I will go back to the women in gaming. That's just going to take me a bit longer to do. But I am going to continue with that series. In fact, I might just go home and do that now. And 
I should have another review for you guys here in a bit. Might be another longer one, so bear with me. I'm just going to give you a hint and say it has something to do with bugs. Till then, I will see you guys later.